So, you said you know the origin of the universe, but you didn't... The universe, void, is indifferent, not just to us, but also our very rationale. And when we realize the universe is independent of reason, we can see that our logic is merely an attempt to push away fear of the unknown through logical paradigms and beliefs. However, this is not to say that beliefs aren't compelling. Obviously they are, but compelling is not synonymous with the truth. I cannot verify it, no more than I can verify the sun coming up in the morning, because time itself is also a human construct, or rather egoic in nature. Some humans are capable of understanding, and I would be greatly saddened if this was a real interview, but that is neither here nor there. One further addendum, there is no point to living, or if you want to get more metaphysical, the point is the point. You cannot describe it outside of itself other than experiencing itself. So, in some essence, the experience is the explanation itself. It's called independence of observation because it is unverifiable outside of observation. While it doesn't have to exist, it can also exist for no reason at all, but since we are limited to beliefs, thoughts, and consciousness, we can't know outside of it and thus are limited to the context. One thing, however, I think is glanced over, philosophically, is that just because nothingness doesn't exist doesn't mean existence has to. There are some things the alien says that make sense to me, like the non-existence of death and how the universe is spontaneously created. Just water. 